As some of you may know, I'm not the biggest One Piece fan out there. In fact, I'm less than halfway through the story as far. I mean, like, what do you expect from a guy whose YouTube name used to be Naruto Rasengan D? Really. But today I decided to review the One Piece version of a Dynasty Warriors style game, One Piece Pirate Warriors. If you guys have played a Dynasty Warriors game before, then you should get the gist of what happens. You fight hordes of enemies, capture keeps, and defeat bosses to save feudal Japan. Except in this one, you do all of that within the One Piece storyline. The entire game is based loosely on the battles and arcs that take place within the One Piece story. I say loosely because it skips over some of the smaller parts of the storyline. Now it's a minor thing, but the gaps in the continuity of the story can be pretty clear during some parts. Throughout the story mode, you experience everything from Luffy's perspective and play as him for about 90% of the time. There are also characters from Luffy's crew that you can play as, from Zoro and Usopp up to Frankie and Brook. Unfortunately, you would only find yourself playing as a few of them for two or three missions throughout the story. However, you can play as them in the game mode called Another Log that revisits some of the episodes played in the story. Each character has their own combos, special moves, and power-ups, but none of them are on the same scale as what Luffy has. There isn't much to say combat-wise, except that the combos and special moves are flashy and add more of a wow factor into defeating the thousands of enemies. And trust me, there are many enemies that look exactly alike, just like in any other Dynasty Warriors game. But believe me when I say that I loved doing Gum Gum Bazooka on all of their stupid clone faces. There are also platforming sections in the adventure mode that give you a little break from the repetitive gameplay. It gives you something else to do other than the mundane Musou battles that are just you taking heaps and fighting enemies. And of course those Musou battles also contain the most annoying part about Dynasty Warriors games as well. In case you didn't know, in all Dynasty Warriors games, you have teammates on the field with you and they help you in battle. In this case, that would be Luffy's crewmates. The main annoyance is that your teammates will be consistently asking you to save them or protect them throughout the battles. Now if I'm one keep away from clearing the mission and Chopper is all the way across the map asking me to heal him, then does that make any sense? I mean seriously dude, Chopper is the goddamn doctor of the crew and he's gonna have me run all the way there to heal him? And the worst part is, if I choose not to help my teammates, then they could flee the battle, and I would need to do the mission all over from the beginning. It's a major pain in the ass, especially if you spent a good 15 minutes fighting your way through enemies. But what else am I really supposed to say about a Dynasty Warriors game, other than, well, it's a Dynasty Warriors game. I wouldn't want any of you to think that this game is the same boring and repetitive gameplay for hours and hours, but it can be a bit tedious. Honestly, you should probably know by now not to buy a Dynasty Warriors game if that kind of stuff is boring to you. And the main reason to ever play this game or any other game within the Pirate Warriors series is for the One Piece. I mean seriously, how many One Piece games do we have localized that are legitimately good? We have One Piece Grand Battle, One Piece Unlimited Adventure, One Piece Unlimited World Red, and one or two other games that could be debatably good or bad. Just a few games out of the 36 One Piece games in existence across other parts of the world. Honestly, it makes Pirate Warriors seem like a breath of fresh air for the US, especially since there's another Pirate Warriors game set to come out soon as well, but I digress. Pirate Warriors is an absolutely fun game for anyone that doesn't mind the repetitive gameplay and also wants to see the most from the first part of the One Piece storyline before the time skip begins. For anyone that has played the previous Dynasty Warriors games and cannot stand them, I would say this game is absolutely not for you. I give this game a solid 7 out of 10 because I found it a lot of fun and challenging while playing through the whole game. And for the price that the game usually goes for, it would totally be worth a try to download it and see how you like it. Thank you all for watching this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe for more just like it. And for now, this is me next level otaku saying stay gold and I will see you guys later.